Hey guys, um, welcome to part three of this card lore, um, where Chris Katz will explain. He's the creator of Case and Shuming, and he will explain about the cards. All right, so Chris, um, how about this one, blunder? <clears throat> that is the unfortunate person that believes they are magical and believes they are a warlock, and brought out the slime from their prison into the world. As you can see, they are covering him, they are eating him alive and killing him. That would be this character. Oh, it looks like Merlin. Almost. Huh. Has a similar figure. It's an yeah. older English man. A wizard, yeah. You can say that about any old English man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> With the one with a beard, so it's gonna be a wizard. So it has this is what's different because it has red, blue, and green slime. So this yes. is totally difficult to to get out of. Yes. It is more or less there's a different reason that each one is a different color. So the red one is obviously because it's tainted. The green is the part that is not tainted because it has not touched his body yet. It has not eaten, eaten from him. The one that has eaten from him is completely red. The blue has not eaten from him, so it is not red. So I may end up going with a line that says the blue is blue for some natural reason, and the green is green for some natural reason, and those being yeah. two countermeasurements. But uh -huh. we'll see as the story goes on. All right. So it has here a uh, unique conjure, so that means it's gonna get uh, a different card from the deck, right? So we're unique gonna show that in a while. Anything that's not a normal conjure, so yes. Yeah. Okay, so this one goes to the slime. So I suppose uh, this one here smokes the meat, yes. the mice. So like this is the this one here. Is the concept art? I know it's hollow, so it's oh, yeah. hard to mm -hmm. play with and see. Yep. But you can see the actual face, and you'll see the mask right here, that red thing hanging on a hook. I know yep. it's hard to tell, but essentially, he was in a war. He was shot in the middle of the head, and he can smoke out of it. That's actually based on a true story, with oh. a Civil War era person. Who was shot in the middle of the head in the like U.S. Civil War? He was shot in the head with a gun, and he was able to smoke out of it. So that's the inspiration for the character himself, a soldier that was shot in the head and lived. Wow! So until he to what, how many years? Hmm. He lived until to how many years? I don't have that defined in the story yet. I'd rather oh. not answer that for. Fear of contradiction. <laughs> but okay. at the moment in the story, he is being dragged away by the slime. He is in the circus with the other clowns, and he performs as his job. Mm -hmm. So he goes from city to city, as a circus would normally do, to do presentations and perform and get money. Yep. I mean, he was a soldier. What else can he do? He knows how to fight. He knows how to kill. What else can he do? So he figured out something. He had a hole in his head. He can smoke through it. He can make money by showing people how fascinating that is. <laughs> it's probably then, near uh, near the nasal, you know? Yeah. But, nasal uh, canal. The, him and a few other clowns were visiting the city where his wife was living at. And he was going back to go meet her because, you know, back in the days... If a man is going out to work, he could be gone for two years yeah. before he comes back home to his wife, before she even sees him again. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate, even back then, that people were drawn those extents, but it's what they had to do to survive. And mm -hmm. in this, he goes back home to greet his wife, spend some time with her while he can, and he hears screaming. He sees slimes attacking the place. And he hears his wife screaming from her home, and he's trying to go save her. And meanwhile, this slime grabbed him by the foot and is pulling him into the forest. 
and no matter what he can can do, he's not going to make it. Uh -huh. He gets there too late. Okay, that goes to the slime deck. And we have a brain surgery here. Yes. This is jumping all the way back to alcohol. I think I misspoke on the other video where I said I'll call for the desert when it's Ra'an for the desert. But I'll call is more of a Orient-inspired area where you more or less take China, Mongolia, Japan, Philippines, name it, those areas, mix them all together into one and let them all fight each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. And brain surgery pertains to what? Brain surgery. There is a certain character. Um, I have it on the wall here. There is a doctor by the name of Salazar. And he ends up being corrupted in his mind, not by the blood, but he ends up being corrupted by insanity, mm -hmm. by life itself. Everything just got to him. He had a wife that he loved. He had a job that he loved. And everything was going beautifully for him. Then his wife ended up getting some sort of ailment. He went to cure her. And because of his own fault or what he believes to be his own fault, I won't reveal that specifically, but it's something around in that area. It's someone's fault that his wife ended up dying. And he blames himself. So the he shut down. Now, this is more Japanese-based as the hospital itself. And he shut the hospital down to where he'll accept patients in, but patients cannot come out. Oh, man. He does sadistic tortures as trying for science to make an improvement on technology so no one will have to suffer the way he has suffered uh -huh. because his wife has died. And you could see... This character right here. This is Salazar. Okay. Yeah. And you can see his deformity on his back. And if you look closer, oh, yeah. you'll see his back has scars. Mm -hmm. Because he punishes himself. Oh, man. Because he hates himself because he blames himself for his wife's death. Uh -huh, yeah. So it goes, when I said that, Everything revolves around realism. So it will tackle certain subjects like this, where it's someone's real life and it's mentally affecting them such a point where it's detrimental to their life. Because there's more to talk about when it's detrimental to their life than when it's better. Because if it's better, you have nothing to talk about. Right. So there's more that can be taught. There's more that can be said for something that's detrimental. Mm -hmm. But that's one of the nurses or doctors that work under him that's being persuaded to work in their position yeah experimenting the brains of their patients yes okay so this one goes to the blood i guess yes Correct. Right. there you go we have here captured oh i think we have this one last time right i don't yeah. know i don't think there's a variant oh. of it I don't think you had it in there. Um, I've seen captured, or maybe that's another card, but you might have been mistaken. Ah, no, no, it's corrupted. Card. All right, Why? maybe I thought it's yeah. Okay, so it captured is, um, this one is um, slime, I guess. No, this is based on the blood creatures. That is not slime going from him. That is steam and smoke, sizzling from the body. Steam and this smoke. One is Wait, is it green? Russian... Yes, it's green because it's smoke. It's like you see in old 80s and 90s movies when the flesh ends up sizzling, it ends up going like a green smoke. Oh, got it, yeah. That was the artist's interpretation of this scene. Okay. And this is more of a Ruski being Russian inspiration, where if you look at the forest, it's more barren. It's reddish yep. because it's showing that the blood is more taking over as far as him. But it's in a snowy area, so you could say that the snow is reflecting the blood. 
-hmm. as red. And he essentially stepped in a certain puddle that he shouldn't have that was a certain mass of that specter's control, and it ended up devouring him completely. Oh, yeah, correct. And this is like a... This one is just the head, right? And the, the one... It's his this... whole body. Whole body? So imagine you're walking in a forest. You step in a mud puddle. Uh-huh. But that mud puddle starts going up your leg and eating oh. your foot. Yeah. And going inside of you and going Devouring. inside your hands. Got it. Okay. And yeah. So this one is blood, I guess. This some of these lores has a lot of potential towards horror. <laughs> yeah, that will be a good release in November. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so this one is Todd. Um that is the name of the child. There mm -hmm. is, I can get another, let me grab a different piece here. Where did I put it? Katsume. Aye. The Septagont. Septagont is essentially a word that more or less describes a necromancer. Mm-hmm. Or someone that can bring back the dead or speak to the dead, which is a septagont, which is Hebrew. And this man that brought it back, it is his own child. He doesn't know he's a septagont. He doesn't believe he's a septagont. He believes his child is alive. So he also has a mental disability because he believes it to be true. He's fooling mm -hmm. himself about it. So in this case... One second. I, this is the character, the Septagont. Yeah. And you see Todd in his hands there. And oh, yeah. You the see the grave baby. that is empty behind him. Yeah. Uh, so he, he got the baby out from there. Yes. The young child. Todd. So yeah. essentially, he had a kid. He lost everything in his life. And then one day he woke up and he heard his child calling for him. And he ended up being tortured to a point where he ended up saying that, no, it's not real. It's not real. My child is dead. I know my child is dead. We buried them. I was there for his funeral. I felt his body. He was dead. He was dead. And now he believes. He's convinced he's alive because Todd is now speaking to him. So now since Todd is speaking to him, and Todd led him to the grave. He dug the body up, and now he holds him like a ventriloquist. Mm -hmm. Oh. So he has, for one, he's a septagont. So he can speak to the dead. So he is speaking to the dead. He is speaking to his dead child, lore-wise. Two, he has a mental disability because he believes that his dead child is alive, okay. which is actual mental disability to believe like that yeah. which works against actual Reality. you know logic yep uh, yeah. and then apart from that i mean he dug up a dead body and called it a <laughs> he <Yeah>. voicing <laughs> it like a ventriloquist so there's obviously a little more wrong there than just the septagont and the mental disability mm -hmm. and this one is blood correct no, that's ice cream. Oh, wait. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> so he dug it. And why, why is there ice cream there? He's at a beach. Ah, if you, oh, that, yeah, that'll be in the token set. If you see the whole token card, you'll see, like, you know, like you bury yourself and your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, playing with you. It's, it's like he buried himself. He was eating his ice cream, and the ice cream fell on top of the head of the kid. Because he's so just treating like the a, He's treating the dead kid as alive and then just playing with the kid, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, man. Well, this is horror. <laughs> well, I mean, this is more... With him, it's more as... With him, it's more like la di da because to him, it's real. So at yeah, this yeah. point in time on that design, the kid is alive. We see it's dead. It's obvious it's dead. But that's what's ironic and what's funny about it because... He's acting like it's alive. It's like the sixth sense. 
sixth sense of uh, Bruce Willis and you know oh, yeah. uh, a, a kid was uh, dead and he he thought that he was not dead so anyway so um this That's one goes to blood blood yeah. blood deck that is the that is the uh in the token set mm -hmm. booby trap that is in the token set as well i do not know if it plays off a of slime or not i don't remember the effects I can okay, hardly it says activate it. only if you control two slime. Oh just... yeah, that's a slime deck. <laughs> so it's slime, a bit trap. It's like it's support. like <laughs> using uh, a sexy lady to trap. Is that is that the story behind that? Well, the other card in the slime deck, you have help, and it has a woman that was taking a shower, and they the slime broke in and they killed her. Oh, and so this is connected. Yeah. Now, remember the slime, they can change their form to anything they have consumed. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So now it can change the form into that woman, which, yes, like you said, can lure people Trap. in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, got it. All right. So this one is a slime. And this one, the section is similar to what we have brain surgery. Yeah. Just yeah. a different doctor. A different doctor <laughs> again. Oh, okay. See, the guy's more pale. He doesn't go out as often. Uh huh. So he dissects. Remember, it's uh, an alcohol, which where this hospital is located. They would all have darker skin because they're based in the Orient. Uh -huh. So you would have Japanese, you would have Mongolian, you would have Filipino, you would have, I mean, Indian, you would have, I mean, name it. As yeah. long as it's in Asia. So you can see he has lighter skin, so he's been indoors a lot more. He's more, you can also see his hand is a lot more skinny. It's not like muscle or anything. Mm -hmm. So he's been inside. He's been deprived of not only light, but sustenance. Mm -hmm. So you can see he's being tortured to a certain extent of his own manner. So whose brain is this? Is this similar to... Patients. Oh, yeah, so experimenting again or yeah. just... Just looking through the body, seeing what they can do and what they can come up with. Uh -huh. Okay, so it goes to the blood. And this is explosive barrel. Slime yes. deck. Uh, slime the alternate card. art for the smokes card with explosive barrel. Yeah, I think I have the explosive barrel as well. That's that. Yes. There's a few different card arts with that, but... Essentially, what's happening in this scene is you saw Smokes getting dragged away by the slime. This is after that. Mm -hmm. Somehow, he managed to get the slime into a barrel and push it into the ocean. Uh huh. Well, this is him shoving it into the barrel. Yeah. And then putting it in the ocean. Okay. So that's a slime. And we have another slime. Yeah. So it's a mm -hmm. speed. So, oh, yeah, yeah I, I have the, the other card uh, with the different artwork here. Speed. This is where Joker is running away after he killed the guy. So you think, he just killed this guy. He's happy he killed the guy instead of the slime. Now the slime, as you can see, is green. It's not part of the specter. Yeah. The slime is mad that he killed its prey. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if you take a, you take a lion, you kill its prey. Now it's going to run after you. Oh, yeah. Same thing yeah. with the slime here. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, there will be slime deck, and we have a blood spawn. Yes. Oh, what is it this? It killed a monkey. Monkey? It killed a monkey, yes. <laughs> like, uh, oh, it's a monkey. All right. So it kills a monkey, the blood. Yeah, okay. So that will be the blood deck. And we have here Briet. Okay, what is this one? I Briet, the word Briet means oath. Okay, Briet is B R Y T, right? Up yes, but G. you read it the other way around. You read it right to left. You right. had it the right way. Yes, right to left. So it's B Hebrew. No, 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 no. Not like Chinese or Japanese, like Hebrew. So <laughs> you read it like, say, Right here is the first one, second, third. English, you read it this way. Hebrew, you read it that way. Yeah, okay. Like Arabic, yeah? So yes. from the right. 
right to left. Yes, so Aramaic. So this yes. one is some um, letter what? Bet. Bet. Resh. Oh. Right. I believe that is Yad. Then right. you have Set. Y and T. Not exactly a Y. It's its own character. I believe it's Yad. You have this. The last one would be The. The. So you read it as Brian. Yes. Oh, okay. Brayet, the word itself stands for an oath, and it goes upon the principle of a oath. Like, I swear to you that I will drink from this cup. I will take this oath. If I break it, God help me. But essentially what they would do is they would take an animal and they would cook it. They would mm -hmm. cut it in half, essentially, and they would share it amongst each other. If one of the people that made the oath over that sacrifice, that animal that they killed, they would kill them like they killed the animal. Wow. <laughs> That's gruesome. So, Brian, is like you cut open your hand, you say, it's like you cut open your hand with a knife yeah. like this, and you say, I take my oath. Yeah, it's like um, what we call blood, um, blood pack. Or something that you yeah. promise. Yeah, sometimes some people are using their saliva, and then you know, yeah, yeah. shake but hands. But this is even older because I mean, especially if you're Christian in religion, then you would believe that this is a older tradition than a lot of other people would believe. Yeah, and what because, is this? Yeah. What is this one here with the blood? That's just blood. This when I did the uh, original design. The it had a lot of bleeding, so the artist took some of that bleeding as actual blood that should have been in the picture, <laughs> which I mean it looks good. Oh so, yeah, uh, and this one right here, why is it deformed? Deformed, or what? Because it's this... blood. Oh, this one on the left. It's like uh, it's like the specter, like a blood creature. It's coming out of the tainted blood. It's oh, coming so out it's, of the it's earth. forming another another fingers. It's forming yeah. another creature. Oh, but got it. Because yeah. its name is Brayet, it is pointing towards the idea that the reason the blood is tainted is because of a broken oath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So put it there. Blood. And we have Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> so large That's at rest true. and why is it like this um is it a, an error or just the design of is it imagine for a second that you're in a circus back in the old days like 1600s you're going around the uk you're going to sleep on the ground uh-huh now imagine you're laying next to him and you're breathing in his breath. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you you woke up like, ah, oh, man. That's, yes. Uh, it's more of a, it's mm -hmm. a creepy take on him, creepy, even though yeah. he's not a really creepy person. Okay. So this one goes to um where? It's in uh, the blood. It's blood? with the blood deck cards, but it's not. It's a variant in the blood deck. It's not right. actually really a part of it, but yeah. Okay, and we have another bluff, which yes. is eight. Yes, it's in the slime deck. So a shadow, yeah. Slime yes. deck, and this is like a, a creature. It ate the slime. Yes. Right? Okay. The creature that is, it's a ancient shark. And uh -huh. I use that some creatures, especially when it revolves around the ocean, I will use real creatures that it really actually existed, and I'll place them in. Yeah. So this one is so a, a little bit similar, but this one is turning um, the wolf. to wolf. That's this one is was creature. eaten by the shark. That's a sea creature. A sea creature, right? That's a shark, essentially. It's a giant shark, it's more just or less. It's just ate uh, slime. Uh, yes, it's on moment. a beach, and the slime was on the beach, and it just came oh, yeah. up and said, this looks tasty. Oh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I thought that they are similar, but this one is forming into a wolf. 
Okay. Yes. All right. So that's a bluff card to uh, slime. Oh, I love this artwork. <laughs> you know what? I really love the tokens, you know, with this kind of yes. artwork. Wow. I can't wait till I'm able to get the game legal tokens, like the actual set yeah. release. And uh, may, uh, please make it uh, some foils and select it. Yeah, foils. whenever it goes to that, yes, of yeah. course. But as long as it's in a prototype, uh, I'll end up having it. What yeah. we're going to be planning them with is three different prototype. I mean, three different Kickstarters that will be separated into different increments. So the mm -hmm. funding level is low enough that people are not worried over it after yeah. that maelstrom issue. Yeah. All right. We got to talk about that in after. <laughs> yeah. After this. So the, people, so the people that know they can trust my work, those people can back it. Yeah. They know they're confident. They already know everything's going back. They can get it back. And then the second Kickstarter, I can go into the different part of the token set. Mm -hmm. And then after the second Kickstarter for the tokens is done, I'll have all the tokens done tech wise and then the third one will be towards funding the mass production of it yeah so you we do it slowly you know yeah yeah that right. is my regression in response to the fall in the market yeah. that's my only currently that's my only premise on being able to use crowdfunding to aid the production otherwise i would have to go strictly by market and strictly by market is tough. I can right. make maybe a hundred dollars in a month off of just market, but that's even going back into production. So, mm -hmm. all right. So this one is a token. So it's a token card. Yes. So it will be separate, correct? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. These are our tokens. Oh. And there you have Insuming Eyes. I remember the name of the card. Wow. Let's see if I remember the effect. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are the eyes of what? Blood. Just a some blood that, creature uh, that ended up taking over. I may end up referencing it to mother. I may not. Oh, yeah. It looks like the mother, yeah, with the eyes. It does. I may, I may not. Yeah. Okay. So that one. And uh, the art speaks uh, for itself, you know. Because it's yes. eyes, and then this one is chicken that you're referring to a token yes. from a chicken deck, right? I have a sketch up, a mock up of a manga that I was working on in a storyline, mm -hmm. and it started off with the chicken in the storyline. And essentially, it starts off with an old woman, and she's feeding her chickens, and it says that my husband would be mad at me. Because I feed the chickens more than I feed myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, which you can see. If someone's depressed over their spouse that has died, you can see them cherishing their animal more than themselves. Mm. Yeah. Which is a normal human concern. So with this one, the woman has a grandson. And there is a different character by the name of Gara. He comes along, and he has some foul business that he attends to because he goes by the symbol Ga, and he's more for the evil part of Ga, mm -hmm. and he cuts off the arm of the grandma and kills her, grabs a chicken by its neck and zooms off and does experiments on the chicken. And with Schmalt and Gara, is, these are the experiments they did on the chicken. Then Gara came back within the same day and Mr. Stone, a different character, which you have not, which you're yet to see. Uh, I could show you him. Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone is not on my wall. He must be at my desk. I have some that's not framed yet. This one. Okay, that's Mr. Stone. Yes. This is a part where Mr. Stone is on a different planet than his own. Mm -hmm. But in the story, he's on his own planet. 
The planet he ends up going to is infested with blood creatures. It's fighting but, with them. Oh, against them, right? Yeah. He's fighting. As you can see, he's a very strong character. Yeah. He is based on a traditional Egyptian character. So his it's hard to let me yeah. see. It's a little bit blurry. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's based on an Egyptian character. Uh-huh, yeah. So by his facial features, his skin type and everything is based on that. And ends up, this guy is a one of the four generals on his planet that tries to keep peace. So what ends up happening is Gara kills the grandmother. He goes back and Mr. Stone is just arriving and trying to figure out what happened to the woman mm -hmm. because he got an alert that somebody died. Yep. And he needs to report the death and what he finds in his research to the elders of the world so they can determine who is behind it, who's responsible, and what can be, you know, their own judicial system. And Dara ends up playing it off and saying, but this child, he's not with his grandmother anymore. I can take care of him. Mm -hmm. But he has his own uh, devious reasons for taking care of the child, if you get what I mean. So Gara is a very foul character and will play into the future. And then there's a storyline which involves the chicken, another main character called Mr. Green, and mm -hmm. Mr. Stone where it ends up being that Mr. Stone is brought to this other planet, and then Mr. Green is brought to a completely different other planet, and then the chicken just goes to uh, bumping anywhere, and you lose track of him for a while till he shows up on the same planet Mr. Green showed up on, which would be called Earth, but wouldn't look like Earth. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So this one goes to the chick. Oh, no, this one's token. So... <laughs> um oh I love the color of this one. Um is this the same artist for all of these tokens or different tokens, artists? Yes. Those tokens, yes. Oh, that's why I love his style here. The variant slime deck ones and those, yes, same artist. So this one is like a slime forming to another creature, right? It is a plant creature that's starting to be tainted. Plant? Oh. Yes. Yeah. It's like a bell blossom. Oh, yeah. If you put it upside down completely, uh, you can see it's like a flower that opens up. Yeah, it's like, like the one that uh, eats flies uh, or insects. Yeah, like a Venus flytrap. Yeah. But the uh, orb trap, on yeah. the bottom, then the very bottom in the middle, that is the artist's signature. So you'll know the artist by which one it is by the signature. Where is so it? that is Madhu. Where is it? Oh, here, yeah. Yes. This one, and the then, circle thing. Yes. Madhu. Then oh, Lady oh. Duchess, I just paid the tech to work on the token set for yes. the blood deck. So that all the blood deck artworks will be made into tokens. Okay. Which was approved by the backers. So after all the blood decks are sent out, then the Blood Deck tokens will be released on Game Crafter for their prototypes. Because the form I do it is first the prototypes release, then once the funds are released enough to fund the game legal versions or the more proper prints, then I release those and cancel completely the prototypes. Uh huh. So you said um, going to the backers, is that the first KS? Yes. Okay. All right, there. Oh. Oh, here's mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I can distinguish now. Okay, so uh, this one is. Can you tell about uh, the story about this? I remember the lore on mother exactly. Mm -hmm. A child prayed for his mother to come back. <laughs> mm -hmm. She was dead. She was dead. So it came back with blood stained, uh, stained, uh... tainted. Came back and uh, killed everybody, essentially. 
tortured people, including the child that called it, called her. I wouldn't say that. I haven't got too deep in the specifics of that oh. story, but essentially, a creature came back and killed a bunch of people. And and, and what it's are all these because of spikes, bones? Oh, the ribs. Oh, not necessarily ribs, just bones, because blood. I mean, if you think about biology, blood forms cells. Cells forms organs. Organs form more mass. And in between all those tissue, mass, bone, blood ends up forming all of those things. Oh, because um, the blood is ca uh, came from a bone marrow, right? That's uh, that's just, where the, the red blood the cell blood is formed. Blood yeah. aids the production and the healing of bones. So in some sort of way, blood does contribute to the growing of bone mass. So okay. essentially, because it is a blood creature, it can use bones to its own advantage. It can create flesh to its own advantage. And it can take images to as what it wishes to look like to its own advantage. Okay. So this is mother. And all right, guys. So we're going to continue the part uh, because right. uh, we have to <laughs> put this in parts. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, watch the, the next part of this uh, video and um, see you in the next video. Bye.